place will burn. Be gone, dwarf. Go, Grumpy. Whose cabin is this? Are you sure it's okay for us to be in here? Well, your roommate's with the sheriff, so I doubt she'll arrest us for breaking and entering. Here. Hey, I'm just, just trying to help. Why do you think I go to Granny's every morning at 7.15? It's to see you. I don't know why, because it just makes me miserable, because every time I see you, it just reminds me that you chose Catherine instead of me. You think this is funny? No. No, it's just the reason I go to Granny's every morning at 7.15 is to see you. Okay, you shouldn't do this, but sticky situation. How can you do this? What are you talking about? David, I know. You know what? About Catherine. Maybe he doesn't know? What about Catherine? That she thinks she's pregnant. What? You're suspicious. <laughs> Sitting here, out in the open, drinking coffee. Wonder what kind of hell I would have raised had I ordered a donut. You were talking to Henry. You mean the little kid who came up to me asking me questions? Your mysterious box. What's in it? It's awfully frustrating not knowing, isn't it? Just tell me. Why? Is it illegal to carry around a box in these parts? No, of course it's not. I'm gonna make you wait. You're gonna have to wait a long time and watch me carry it around, hauling it to strange mysterious places and with each passing moment the mystery will become more tantalizing your imagination will inflame but so will your frustration I feel like you're speaking to the audience let me buy you a drink sometime and i'll tell you right now you want to buy me a drink yes okay a drink it is really i'm a writer that's why you're here I find this place provides inspiration. Don't you? Mary Margaret, please, can we at least talk? Well, I was quick. The flock. <laughs> Too painful. You can't have both. But I do have both. You can't, though. No, no, it doesn't make sense. But it's like I have these two conflicting lives. Memories of feelings for her. And real feelings for you. Then I'll leave you why? We're going to have to. We're just going to have to forget each other. Love is a disease. And like all diseases, it can be vanquished in one of two ways. A cure or death. Do you know where your beloved is right now? He's right down that hallway, packing for his new life. He'll never know I'm here. Oh, yes, he will. You're gonna tell him why you're here. Because you don't love him. It'll break his heart. And that will cure him. Or you'll kill me. Oh, no. I'll kill him. Killing you would just make him love you more. If he would die would in an assassin's him. hand, he would die a martyr. Midas would forgive even Lord the death, and the merger would be complete. You would do that to your own son. He is not my son. You can't. You can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can't. Oh. It can't happen. What's wrong? Of course it can. You're here. We can go. We can be together. We can leave all this. I know there are costs, but I plan for everything that can hurt us. And now that I know that you love me too. I don't. Fill your heart with love for someone else. 
have someone who can love you the way I never have. The way I never will. I know it's been hard on you, but it's also been hard on me. I want a family with you someday. I want children. We're not ready. If I was pregnant now, it, it would be a disaster. Yeah. But I want to fix this. I want to fix us. Me too. Do you? Well, then let's go see Dr. Hopper. Let's get some help. Will you do that? Will you give us our best shot? Yeah. We should get going if you want your coffee before work. No. Why don't we go downstairs and have some breakfast instead? Hmm? Okay. You okay, sister? So this is what she saw in the last episode? Not even close. You didn't find him? Worse. I lost him. Where are you taking me? Home. We all lost someone today. Now we're seven. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So you're coming home with us, Snow, and we're gonna protect you. This will take all of my feelings, all of my pain, and destroy them. No. Why? As wretched as it is, I need my pain. It makes mm -hmm. me who I am. Yes. It makes me grumpy. <laughs> if the pain's too much, you can always drink it. But for today, put it away. Okay. Oh, they both didn't go. Are you there? She's gone. She never came back after she went to find you. Then I'll find her. I will always find her. James left Abigail. Did you hear me? Your Prince Charming isn't getting married. Who? It's 7.45. I know. Well, I'm trying not to see you. Well, I am trying not to see you. Well, how do we stop seeing each other? Apparently, we can't. Oh, no. This is gonna get messy. In the street and everything. Uh-oh. All righty -oh. Well, that was season one, episode 10 of Once Upon a Time, titled 7.15 a.m. Uh look, you should uh, you should never choose infidelity, okay? Just break up with your wife. If it's not working, break up. Simple. Okay? I know you're thinking, oh, it's not that simple. It is, okay? Someone will always get hurt, and they'll be hurt even more if it's infidelity. Just saying. Uh... So yeah, that was a pretty good episode. It focused a lot on um, Snow White and Prince Charming. I don't like their like fake names, the Mary Margaret and David. I used to like the name David, but I've heard it so much recently that I actually hate it. If you've seen Legion, then I you should know, you, like, you can count how... I've only seen, like, maybe seven episodes or something like that of Legion. And they say the name David so much on that show that the name has kind of become annoying to me. Um, so, yeah. And Mary Margaret just sounds like a nun's name. I don't know. <laughs> so, she is Snow White. Um, yeah. So this is gonna get messy. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.